You are welcome to the world of Spelby International. This is the virtual walkthrough of the level 1 book. The level 1 is the inter-school level. The first of the four levels. This is the book that you would have got and you need your book for this video. If you do not have, hit that pause button and go fetch your book. Let's continue. This is the front wrapper. On the wrapper you can see our logo on the top right corner and the grade or the class that you're studying in. And it says it's the Excel edition an advanced edition for students like you who strive to excel and you will find the five rounds. You have to prepare for all these five rounds for the level 1 exam. All the five Spell it right, word analysis, inflex and collocations, find the correct sentence, and GK. So now, what shall we do? Let's open the book, of course. On opening, you will find the levels of the competition. And the first level is your inter-school level where we have, yes, five rounds. And then you'll progress to level two, that is the regional or state, where you will have additional four rounds. In the national level, you will have three more rounds. and three more rounds in the international championship so totally 15 rounds for your fourth level rupees 30 lakh worth of over 5000 awards and prizes await the winners and toppers of all these four levels now let's continue with the book you will find the contents page all the five rounds the glossary and a sample question paper at the end Now let's see the first round that is the spell it right. This round is your word bank. You will find approximately 1000 words arranged alphabetically. These words are cherry picked from books, especially story books and magazines that are appropriate for your age. also based on the number of letters per word complexity of the meanings of those words and usefulness of those words in your daily life in this round we ensure that you spell the word correctly and also say the word correctly let's take a word t o u r is the spelling of that word tour or tour is the sound of that word tour is a wrong way to pronounce that word you can find a phonetic chart in your round 1 before the words there are 44 symbols just like 26 letters in the alphabet we have 44 sounds in the english language you know all the 26 letters you can also learn the 44 sounds in the english language in our website you can find the phonetic chart This is an interactive chart. You need the Adobe Flash Player install if you do not have it already. And then you can click on the sound that symbol there and you can hear the sound of that symbol. E A R Sh You also have three example words. You can click on them and you can find how the sound is there in that word. Chef Ocean ash Let's take a word from the book A P P L E is apple nobody says apple are we equally sure of all the words that we learn we assume many pronunciation it's not see same but says me it's not sell out silhouette it's not suit it's sweet and that's why we need the phonetic transcriptions looking at the phonetic transcriptions we should be able to say the correct pronunciation of that word we have the words we have the forms and we have the phonetic transcriptions and pictures in this round let's take this word everybody says gigantic which is actually wrong gigantic is the right way to pronounce the word in this word the second o is actually silent so tortoise is the right way to pronounce the word tortoise is wrong tortoise this small word i 
S is pronounced as is, not is. So it should be my name is whatever is your name. And this one is not plumber but plumber. This one is not yacht, yacht. The same word can be pronounced differently in the American English and the British English. In India, we follow the British English. C-O-L-O-R can be correct in the US English. But we follow the British version. C-O-L-O-U-R This word is pronounced as lieutenant in the British English and as lieutenant in the American English. It's not like this is right and this is wrong, but we follow the British version. We say schedule and they say schedule. We have special words in each book. For group one, it is the currencies. And for group two, there are some food words. And for group three, we have cyber words. For group four, we have science words. For five, we have math words. For group 6, we have sports words. For group 7, it is social science words. For group 8, it is management words. And for group 9, it is career words. All the words in your word bank. Your first round spell it right has come to an end. But please do understand, this round is very important because all the other rounds will be based on this round. You will learn the meanings of these words, synonyms and antonyms of these words, play crossword with these words, weave words with these words and do so much more. So now let's move on to round number two. The round two is on word analysis. Here we find out the root words or the morphemes that go into the making of a word. For example, here we have purification which is built by the morphemes P-U-R-I, which is from P-U-R-U-S, Latin, meaning pure, F-I-C. You know, the Latin root means to make, and A, that's a suffix, here in this word, means causing, and T-I-O-N, another very common suffix, means the act of, or the process of. So all this together make purification, which means the act or process of making something pure. So round two essentially deals with etymology, meaning the origin and the evolution of words. So let's trace the word doctor. This is how it originated and this is how the word evolved to mean what it means today in English. It essentially has two meanings, a registered medical practitioner and a PhD holder. So this is the origin and evolution of that word. English has borrowed words from other languages. 29% are from French like valet, bouquet, chef, restaurant and 29% again are from Latin like castle, infant, fabric, battle. 26% are from Germanic like archer, daughter, oven, saga and 6% are from Greek like ultimate, mystery, giant, peasant and 6% are from other languages like Tamil, Katamarin, Pachauli, Mango, Teak and Hindi like Chutney, Bangal, Jungle, Lute and 4% are based on proper names like Bougainville, Sandwich, Silhouette named after people and Jumbo named after an elephant. And this is why we have root words. Because the English has not just borrowed the whole words, it has borrowed root words. Let's take one root word, for example, G-R-A-P-H, graph. Graph is a Greek root word, which means right. So if you look at the word graph in some word, for example, biography or calligraphy, or geography, or autograph, or paragraph, or graphite, you can understand it has got to do something with writing. So even if you look at an unfamiliar word that has G-R-A-P-H in it, you can be sure it has to do something with writing, right? So now let's go see another root word, P-H-I-L. This is again a Greek root word and this means love. Bibliophile is a person who loves to read. 
Philosophy is love for knowledge and wisdom. Technophile, a lover of technology. Anglophile, a lover of all things English. So Phil means love. Let's now see how your study content is organized. You will have the root word, the meaning of that root word and its language of origin and the example words where you can find that root. And group 1 and 2 will be tested through match the following. You have to match one root with another and find answers for the five root words in the match. For groups 3 to 9, this is how it will be organized. The study content is organized in the same way. Root, meaning, language of origin and some example words that has that root word in it. And the exercises will be different. You will have the meaning of that word and the root words that you learned and the combining words. It will be in two clusters. You first have to take the root that you learned and put it there and the affixes or the combining words. Now round number three deals with two things. These are inflections and we also have collocations. So what are inflections? A word can get inflected in the following ways. First one, you can add an S to it and make it a plural word or you can add apostrophe S and make it a singular possessive word or you can also add S apostrophe like for example boys hostel. A verb can get inflected. Rise can become rises, rising, rose and risen. It can become adjectival inflections like bigger and biggest. The exercises, you have two ways. The first way is find the odd one out. Ride, road, ridden, they're all inflex. But rider is not an inflex, it's a derivation. So that's the answer. You also have to choose the correct answer formats. My grandmother is frailist is not right. Frailer, it's comparing. So frailer than my grandfather. So what's the plural form of furniture? That's not furniture, it's furniture. Similarly, it's luggage. Plural is also luggage. Collocations. These are frequently used combination of words. It's more to do with language usage. Powerful coffee or strong coffee? We always say strong coffee. Tallest mountain or highest mountain? Tallest mountain. We always say fast food, not quick food. Is it the heavy rain or hefty rain? Heavy rain. We always say, say hello, not tell hello. We never say a beautiful man. We always say a handsome man. Of course, we only say sweet dreams, not nice dreams. So it's more to do with language usage and not grammar as such. So how do we test you is? You match light, bulb, broken, window, curly, ha, correct, pencil, sketch. And the last one of course is play, area. For high groups, you'll have word collocations, like so, taken aback. That's a collocation. Clean collocates with conscience. And defense, lawyer. You only have two words, word collocations. You have more than two words, so these are called phrasal collocations. Out of context. Red patches on skin. Cause of action. These are phrasal collocations. Collocations, you also have another format in the exercise. That's pick up the most suitable word. In Greek mythology, the Trojan War was the legal battle? No. Constant battle? No. Ongoing battle? Of course not. It was the historic battle between the Greeks and the people of Troy. 
the runaway success of the movie was attributed to its thrilling and dramatic climax. Both these words can collate. Now number four is all about the sentences. Finding the correct sentence. So here, cause that's wrong, right? What is your name is right. It's not is, is, you remember? So here the kittens were very cuddly. You need a full stop of cost there. I ate a whole apple to stop. The buffalo is in the pond. How blissful. I am very happy today. Yay! So this is about sentences and sentence structures. You will have six exercises with 10 pairs of sentences. All you have to do is find the 60 correct sentences in this round. So let's see how the exercise is organized. Every exercise is organized based on a situation. Here you buy a new book about birds, you read about the woodpecker and share it with your friends. This is the context and the learnings are about the articles, prepositions, singular and plural and tense. So the first sentence, which is right? Is it an interest in amazing bird? No. Interesting is an adjective. We need interesting here. So you have to tick against A. It had a strong and pointed beak. Has is the word that we need here because it's a fact. So woodpeckers have a very long tongue because A is used to introduce nouns and their preceding adjectives. The bird uses, we need its, yes. The bird uses its beak to find insects. They love to eat insects and fruits. Two plus verb is required. Two plus verb plus ing is not correct. So eating cannot come. The lifespan of a woodpecker is 4 to 11 years because the subject or the noun there is singular. We need is. There are over 200 species, right? They cannot come. That is the word that we require here. Woodpeckers live in dense forest. On means they live on top of the forest and that's not right. These birds can be found all over the world except in Australia. We need the plural form, right? So this cannot come. A is correct. And which of these two words is correct? Red or red? They both pronounce the same way, but we need the past tense of this R-E-A-D, which is also written the same way. So where do you find the correct answers and explanations right next to it. And these explanations are for you to understand. It's not required for the exam. You don't have to write the explanation, just tick against the correct answer. Your round number five, the last of your five rounds for the level one competition is nothing but general knowledge. I do believe something very magical can happen when you read a good book, said Rowling. Books give a soul to the universe, wings to the mind, flight to imagination and life to everything, said Plato. So I guess reading books apart from your textbooks should be a good thing after all. GK is here divided into verbal reasoning and literary world. Under verbal reasoning, you have arranged the words in alphabetical order and jumble tumble. Under literary world, you have books, authors and characters and literary devices. So let's start. The first one, arrange the words in alphabetical order. This is quite simple. You've got to only arrange the words in alphabetical order. Here, A, advantage, comes first. So, C, then comes direction. So, A, and M, mechanism. So, B, and finally, Y, youth. So, C, A, B, D will be the answer. 
Sometimes when you see all the first letters are the same, you go for the second letter, right? So here tactile is the first one. So B and then testify. A thrive. C and finally triumph. So A uh, D. B A C D is the answer for this one. And then we have word scramble or jumble tumble. Here you've got clues and you have to write the answers based on the clues. The clue will be the synonym of the word. So the word here is scary. That's correct. S C A R Y. How should you say this word you remember? Good. It's not tour but tour or tour. So what's this word? It's excursion. That's correct. And now we are moving on to literary world. The books, authors and characters you should be familiar with for your age. Younger grades will have some questions based on pictures and for all the grades only the books, authors and characters recommended for your age will be there. So who wrote the famous just so stories? The answer is Rudyard Kipling. Who is the artist, musician, author and poet popularly known for his book of nonsense? The answer is Edward Lear and Cressida Cowell wrote the book How to Train Your Dragon. That's from the Viking's perspective. Who wrote the book How to Train Your Viking by Toothless the Dragon from the Dragon's perspective? It's Cressida Cowell again. That's also a good book. Spot the Dr. Seuss character who is said to have a heart two sizes too small and ruins Christmas by stealing others' gifts and decorations. It's the Grinch. Choose the old house character who is an amazing little girl despite her brutish parents and who taught herself to read and who loved to go to the library. It's Matilda. Who in this list is the teacher who took students on educational field trips to locations like the moon, inside the human body, etc. in her magical bus? Of course, it's Miss Frizzle because you see the magical school bars in brackets, but this will not be the brackets will not be there in the exam paper. Right. So now we're going to go to a higher grade book. This is the study content for seven, eight, nine books. The characters, the books, the authors who wrote those books. So a question based on this will be like it's just an example. Hatter is a character of which author's imagination? Mm, is it Dory Smith? Yeah. Is it Lewis Carroll? Yeah. Now we have literary devices. There are so many literary devices that will make you better writers. So let's just take one. Homophones. Many people assume it's Sue. It's not Sue. Sue. So, so, or all pronounced the same way. It's so. In fact, all three are homophones. We have a story within a story, like the very famous Panchatandra and Vikram and Vethal, where you have stories within story. Many interesting literary devices, like a flat character, is a minor or a simple character in a story that does not change much from beginning to the end, like Mr. Fitch from Harry Potter. Or a dynamic character, an important character that changes and grows throughout the course of the story like Neville Longbottom from Harry Potter. Or it can be a round character which is a complex or the major character that is more realistic and face contradictory situations and undergo major transformation like Hermione Granger or Ron Ronald Weasley from Harry Potter. Setting The time, place or the mood in which the events of the story take place like The Lord of the Rings is set in the Middle Earth and the Batman story takes place in the Gotham City. With that, we've reached the end of the five rounds. After this, you will find the glossary for some grammar terms and terminologies that you may not quite understand. You'll find these terms, especially in Find the Correct Sentences, Explanations. You can come to this page if you need explanations. And then you have the sample question paper. Your competition paper will look very similar to this. Your spell it right will have 10 questions. And your word analysis will again have 10 questions. Your questions will be taken from every all the exercises in your book. 
and then you will have five questions on inflex and five on collocations and 10 on find the correct sentence questions from every exercise will be chosen and then you have five questions on verbal reasoning two on arrange the words in alphabetical order and three on jumble tumble or vice versa and then literary world five questions so every question will have will carry two marks we want you to get qualified for the state level because you'll get a book with meanings for the first 300 words phonetics meanings and other related words and at the end you'll have pictures for which you can write the captions all these words will be there in that page so every page will be more like a game great you are now in the inter school level and we hope that you qualify for the regional or the state level all the very best this is an in-house production of Spellbee International. Script and narration was by Arul Mori and the animation work was done by Mr. Farooq Mohammed. We'll meet you in the next walkthrough video. Bye-bye.